Hey what's up guys, it's time for a new tutorial today. And today we're going to make a cool animation. We're going to make the wind sweep away the text in particles. So let's see what we're going to do. Okay, let's start with a new composition here. Let's see here, like so. And we are going to drag in a picture as a background. And drag it in like so. And I add a link in the description if you want to use this picture. And we're going to add um, an effect to it, we're going to add a curve. Like so, curves, we're going to drag in curves. I want it to have it a little bit darker like so around there and now we're going to add some text so we go up and take the text tool and we can do so that we type sand we can align it here and align it to the center like so and we can go in here we can right click and add a layer style we're going to add bevel and bows we go into it bevel and bows we want to have some uh, nice uh, edges here so we can do so we can um, pick a use a uh, light color here and we can pick a dark color down here and do so okay maybe we want to have this a little bit brighter like so we can set this to 100 probably this one too let's see we do so and we can set this to normal we can set this to normal too. Like so. And we can see here. Let's see if 50 looks good. I think that's fine. And we can add a little bit more edge to it. Let's see if 6 is good enough. And we can set this to a uh, chisel hard so we get a more precise edge, a more sharp edge. Like so. Maybe we can set this a little bit, even brighter. Like so. I think that's good. Maybe we can have this a little bit brighter too. You can always tweak this to um, get better, but to save time, also, do we get. Um, anyway, so do we set it like so? But now, can we go further here? We go and so, and we are going to um, do like so. We can mark this layer and we go up to um, layer and pre compose it. And we can call this uh, text.com1, like so. Then can we do like so? We mark the layer and press Ctrl D. So we have a duplicate. And we mark the layer and press Enter. And we can press, and uh, we can call it um, text.com2. So we have control which one is which, like so. What we need now is an effect that can make our text be swept away by the wind and in particles. So uh, we need particles here. CC particle system 2. We add it to the comp 2. So and we go into the producer and we can set this to uh, we can go forward a little bit so we see what's happening. Now do we need to change the Y radius so it get wider so it covers all the text. Like so. Now do we need motion to get some settings to be shown? So we need to connect it now to a null object. So we do like so. We go up to a layer and add a null object. This is going to be the engine, can we say? So we, go, we can mark it and press P. And we can set the position to a zero here as we want it to the edge. And we can go to the start and set the start keyframe there and we can go forward about eight seconds and we can set the width and now do we want to go to the other side of the comp side of the comp and this is 1920 as this is the width of the composition like so so now do we have this null object going from one side to the other and now do we want to connect this particle system to the null object so that's going to be the engine so we can do so that we set a keyframe here. In this way, so can we easily find the position in the particle effect. 
If we don't press U, so do we here get shown all the keyframes that we have? So we can do like so, we can uh, remove the keyframe again and we can do so, we're going to connect this uh, to the null object so we drag this pick whip to uh, the null object like so and if you can't see this, so can you just right click and go to columns and see to that parent and link is activated and now can we see if the effect follows the null object and that uh, seems to work fine and now we're going to go in and make some more adjustments here. So we go into the physics. You can see here, we're going to change this to um, fire. And velocity, we're going to decrease this. And we're going to uh, increase this very much because we want to inherit the movement from the move from the null object, like so. And the gravity, we can set this to zero. We can do like so, mark it and set this to zero, so, and we can go into the particle, and we're going to change this here to um, shaded sphere, so, it's a little bit big, so here can we set this to um, dot zero three, and we're going to set the depth size the same, dot zero three, like so, and now can we set this to black, and set both to black. So, so now that we have the particles like so, and here is an um, important um, thing that we have to um, select this source because if we select this, does it only collect um, or only produce dots from um, when there is text? So here, does it not collect or produce anymore? So, but we need some more particles. So we go up here to the birth rate. We need to increase this. Let's see. Which do we need to increase it? Can we see how much do we have? I think that looks good. I think we have enough there. Like so. I think that's fine. Maybe do I want to have the text to be a little bit bigger. So we can go into the text comp, double click on the text, and we can uh, do so that we, um, we only need to mark the layer and we can go up to, let's see here, characters. I would like to have this a little bit bigger. Like so. And we can go to align again, so we align it to the center. And we go into the comp again. So. Let's see. Yeah, that looks fine. But now we want to have the text to disappear too. So we are going to do so. We um, unselect all layers by tapping down there. And we're going to take the rectangle tool. So go in and select the rectangle tool. And just double tap. Then do you do a um, rectangle all over the composition. Like so. And we're going to um, rename this we, so we can mark it and press enter and we can call it uh, mask and we're going to use this as a mask like so and we are going to add some effects here we're going to add a rough and edges rough and edges like so we drag it in like so and we can we, we may set it to rusty and we like to have the border a little bit bigger I think around 50 around there is good and we need to change the edge sharpness so we can increase this up to 10 and the set scale we can set this down to 10 too maybe yeah I think that's good maybe maybe 15 is even better like so yeah I think that's fine maybe we can easily increase this a little bit even more yeah, around there is fine. Uh, I don't think that we need to change anything more here. What you need to do is to move this here. We, so we go up here, and take the partial point tool like so, and then we drag this to the edge here because we want the, the null object to be connected to this. And we want to be able to remove, uh, move this um, rectangle from this edge here. 
So we do like so, we mark the mask layer and press P. So we get the pick whip here too, and we drag this down to the null object position again, like so. So now does this also follow? What we need now is to connect this to a set matte effect. But I think we start with first to explain how things works here. There are two layers and the text comp layer 2 now only shows the particles that are generated from the particle system 2. But we do like this. And select this so do we see that when we add the particles so does the text disappear and only shows the particles. We need to have this text here. This text do we have to um, remove now. So we do so, we go up here and add a set mask, or set mat, like so. And we drag this down to the comp one. And here do we select the mask. We also have to set the effect, like so. So now can we see that we have this square, if we, if we show this mask again. So can you see, it follows there. So where the square is, is the, is the text, and when we remove it, so does the text move away. And when we move forward, so can we see that it's a quite sharp and a straight edge. But we can do so, we go up and mask the mask layer, or mark the mask layer, and then we take the rectangle tool, and we can see now, when we press this here, we're going to create a mask. So when we have selected this layer, and we have to double tap here now when we have selected the mask. Just double tap. And then do we um, do a mask um, over the whole um, layer like so. Then we take the pen tool. And we add some points here like so. Let's zoom in a little bit here. So we do a lot of points here. So that we're going to move around later on like so. And then can we just do so? We move those around so we get a little bit more what can we say not that sharp edge there are some variations like so you can even do it even better but um we probably want to hurry up this tutorial so do we do like so and now can we see that the edge is not that straight and uh, it has more variation it looks more natural when it's moved fast later on, so do you not see those edges? And we can even do so, we can go and put a mask and um, we can press F. So we can feather it and we can set two pixels with there. So. so we get an even more soft edge. Let's see, how does that look? Not too bad. Maybe I want to have a little bit more um, particles. So let's add some more. Let's see here. How does it look? We should have some more. Tweak it up. I think that's quite good. What do you say? So let's see how does it look now. And there we have our particle text animation. And I hope you like it. And if you like it, so is it always appreciated with a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more of my videos, don't forget to subscribe. And if you have any suggestions of what you want to see more of, don't hesitate to type them below. So am I going to see what I can do about it. But for now guys, it's time to say, or not.